Archimedes squaring of a parabola um, to find the area under the chord of a parabola uh, without, of course, using calculus. So let's go to that. Again, we'll use a function definition of a parabola, so we'll just take, um, let's just take y equals x squared as our parabola of interest. Uh, there it is, there's the coordinates. So we're interested in the area um, under a chord. I could, of course, work it out uh, using geometry expressions directly, uh, as Archimedes didn't have access to geometry expressions. Um, he wasn't able to do this, but let's call this point uh, location S on the curve. That means x-coordinate is S. At this point, location T on the curve. Again, that means the x-coordinate is T. You can see T is 1.1. S there is 0.6, negative 0.67. But if we now ask, give me the, um, let's have a look at this polygon. This uh, the area on this uh, curved polygon for, uh, formed by the arc of the parabola and the the chord. Uh, we can ask for its area, and uh, uh, geometry expressions will give that directly. Well, of course, Archimedes didn't have a computer nor software. Uh, how did he uh, solve this problem? Let's have a look at that. So we'll get rid of that arc. Instead, what I'm going to do is create a triangle. The sort of thing that Archimedes was able to deal with. And I'm going to do I'm going to set this to be the location T on the curve. And I'm going to put this point at location T plus H. So that's x coordinate t plus h. And I'm going to put this point at the location x coordinate t minus h. So here we see as we change, as we move t around, that's locked h so it doesn't move. So t around there. That's what that triangle looks like. What is the area of the triangle? Well, that's interesting and perhaps a little unexpected. Um, the area is h cubed. There's no t involved in the formula for the area. So that says that as I slide t backwards and forwards, um, the area of that triangle uh, is identical. Now, how could we have worked that out um, without the software. Well, let's look at what happens if we take the median of this line of the chord. Well, we know that the distance, the, the horizontal distance from this point to this point, to the, to the median, is just um, h. And the horizontal distance from this point to the median is just h. So what length is the median? The median is h squared, so if we take the area of this triangle is a half h h squared, and the median of this triangle is a half, and the area of this so this triangle is a half h h squared. You add them uh, together and you get h cubed. So how do we know that this distance is h squared? Well, let's have a look at the coordinates of this point here. Well, of course, this is h plus t, and the y-coordinate is h plus t squared. 
And this point is t minus h and t minus h squared. So this point, of course, being the median, has to be halfway between uh, those, and we see that its coordinates are going to be t, because that's the median of h plus t and t minus h, and h squared plus t squared, because if you take h plus t all squared and subtract t minus h all squared, the uh, and add t minus h all squared, the the t times h term cancels out and you just get the uh, the squared terms. So that's h squared plus t squared, but what's the location of this point? That's t, t squared. So when you subtract the two y coordinates, you end up with h squared. So what we're seeing here is we can piece, piece together um, a by hand proof of the uh, of what geometry expressions told us immediately that the area of that uh, triangle was h cubed. Okay, uh, but we don't need all of this if we're going to move on. The question, the the point that um, interested was interesting at first about this expression for the area of the triangle is that it didn't involve t. So now the question is, what if we were to create another little triangle in here? Let me just zoom in. So I'm going to put, now put a point at the location halfway in between uh, these two. So that's going to be at uh, that location on the curve. Halfway between t plus and t plus h, so it's going to be t plus h one two, and then my question becomes: Well, how big is this triangle here? And we see it's h cubed upon eight. Well, of course. A, or the, it's exactly the same story as this, as this uh, triangle, except our new h is actually h over two, and so the new h cubed is going to be h cubed upon eight. But there are two of these triangles, so when we add the area of both, if if we added another triangle in here, there would be two of them. Uh, so here I'll I'll put it in at um, location. Uh, t minus h point two, so again, because the area is independent of the location, both of those little triangles have the same area, h cubed upon 8. When we add them together, it's h cubed upon 4. And so we, if we wanted the area of this entire shaded region, it would be h cubed plus h cubed upon 4. Uh, if we did the process again, we would pick up uh, an h cubed upon uh, 16. So then we can then look at the, the entire uh, series it's an infinite series uh, if we approximate the uh, the area of h cubed plus h cubed upon 4 plus h cubed upon 16 and so on. And that is uh, a geometric series. Um, and we know the formula for the, uh, for the infinite sum of a geometric series is the initial, the initial term uh, times 1 minus is a over 1 minus r, the initial term over 1 minus the ratio. Now the ratio is a quarter, so 1 minus the ratio is um, 4 thirds. So um, the the answer should be uh, 4, uh, four thirds uh, for, the, for this area, 4 thirds h cubed. Let's just check that. 
I'm going to create the arc. Let me get rid of a couple of these small ones so that we can see what's going on. Um, I'm going to create the area uh, under the arc and ask what that is. And there we see uh, four thirds each cubed.